What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Wherever you are in the world, I want to bring to you some new artwork that I have created once again in Procreate. And um, this is what I would call my second official illustration via Procreate, which I am loving. I told you guys about that in the last video. This is of Nipsey Hussle. Um, this is the quick 30 second uh, time lapse and then it'll reset. I started off with a sketch and I'm not going to say I love the sketch. As you can see, it looks a little bit funny, but it was something I was doing just as caricature practice. Um, but as the illustration moved forward, there were things that I felt like needed adjustment. Um, I sent this to a friend to look at and I took maybe about, uh, dang, it looks like I finished this in about two or three days. And that's what I love about Procreate. I'm, I'm able to go from a sketch to a final illustration in a matter of, of days. Whereas when I was using uh, Photoshop, it was just taking me forever. And that could be, I think it has a lot to do with the brushes and Procreate is really made for the illustrator, you know, um, and people who love to draw. But one of the things that I thought needed adjustment um, was the size of the nose. And then I was trying to figure out how to nail the squinty eyed look that Nipsey Hussle has. Um, but right now it looks like I'm just uh, experimenting with hair and I'm trying to get things right. I'm basically <clears throat> renegotiating the sketch into an illustration that to me looks right or more appropriate. I have could have done this process fully on paper, but it didn't turn out that way. Uh, what I do love about digital work is that like, if you want to resize something or undo something, it's just a press of a button or a few buttons. Um, the old traditional way of drawing, you know, obviously you have to erase and then redo, erase and redo. And there's nothing wrong with that at all. Um, but in my work now, I don't really erase. It's just not a thing I do. When I do my live drawings, there's no erasing. Everything's done in a marker. Um, I kind of like things that way, you know, whatever you do is what you do and you, you go with it. Um, and it's definitely a challenging art form to do live caricature. The in-studio caricature work, as you can see, you know, there's much more flexibility for adjustments. And it looks like here I just worked in some shadows and now I'm trying to adjust the nose to be more angular. Um, and I also extended the forehead and I know that iMovie is, uh, looks like it's not capturing the full image, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, this portion is really just a matter of highlights and shadows. I'm putting in the shadows and, you know, trying to get it right, not too dark, but dark enough. And then the highlights really bring it to life. So we're nearing the end of this here. And I really enjoyed making this. Um, it was, it was challenging. It, it forced me to, you know, take a second look at things and see what's off and see what's not off. And sometimes you just have to leave things as they are or, you know, just work them in a little bit, you know, rather than just starting from scratch. So as we near the end of this video, um, if anyone would like to follow me on Instagram, I am there at Jay's Portraits. You can visit my website, www.jaysportraits.com. Um, if you would like lessons or you know, what have you, you guys see what I do. So if you have questions or if you would like a lesson or anything of that nature, that's where you can contact me. If you want a commissioned piece, you can contact me there, fill out the form and I will get back to you uh, in 24 hours or less because I'm always on top of my game. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video, this time-lapse video, as you can see my process and uh, yeah, now I'm just putting in the marathon flags. Victory lap, victory lap, victory lap. All right, you all take care.